Yeah, hi, this is Ron. Um, I wanted to show you guys a little bit uh, how to fix uh, fix up an apartment uh, after you're moving out and all the little tiny holes in the wall and things like that. Uh, I know most of you were taught to just take a, a, a bunch of filler and slap it on top of the hole and then sand it down and then patch it up with a paint that looks close. Well, I'm just going to show you a different way to do it. Okay, we're, we're going to look at uh, how to fix up this uh, apartment. The first thing we're going to do is just take everything off. We're going to take all the um, brackets and um, pieces and parts and everything we attached we're going to take it off. Uh, don't forget to save the screws if you intend to reuse it. Those screws can get really, really hard to find. Now here's the thing where I'm taking tape. That's a, a light strip with the glue on the back of it. It's in a, in a room and it, it's, it's really cool. But uh, don't just try to pull it down. Use a heat gun. I'm just using a hair dryer there and just heat up the glue. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is patch the holes. Um, I'm not going to put a whole bunch of putty on there and take a little bit of a Q-tip. Fill in the hole. Okay, and there you see, fill in the hole. And, and, and that's about the biggest bases have to be spackled better, but all the little holes and stuff just just uh, fill the hole itself and, and uh, it actually almost goes away. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly sand it. And that doesn't mean to sand everything down. Just wipe it down to where all the sharp edges are gone from it. Uh, and it rounds it off and it blends it into the wall. Now in my patch I add a little bit of a bit of paint and so that uh, actually almost blends all the way in. Uh, you can barely see it uh, before I even touch it up. But uh, that, that's all you want to do is just wipe the walls. Okay, if you do more than wipe the walls, you're liable to damage the paint or the texture. Now the next thing we're going to do is touch up. I use an artist brush to touch up. Um, it's really simple. I just touch up the area, the little tiny dots, and I dab it on so that it matches the texture of the wall when it dries. And it's really easy to do. And when that dries, you won't be able to tell there was a nail there at one time. And I uh, just go through the whole place. There's a lot of places and just dab it in there. And like I say, it's a little artist brush. And uh, I don't take a big brush. I don't want big spots all over the place. These tiny spots disappear really, really good. Um, now the next thing I do is I paint the walls where they're scuffing or uh, places where it's been marked up by something leaning against it. Work areas, doors next to the, uh, the, the door leading outside, the closets at the bottom of the closets where boxes have leaned up against the wall and marked the wall. As long as you don't paint all the way, I just paint what I need to. Um, like in, in this hall closet, I'm just going to paint up about two or three feet. When the scuff marks go away, I stop and um, I put down some paper because that's that's what I do. I don't want paint splashed everywhere and um, I just go high enough so that the scuff marks go away okay they disappear uh, if I have to paint eye level then I'm starting to think maybe I just paint the whole wall now this is right next to the entry door and it's just been marked up from being that's where you put things and um, um, that's where you store some things that you're going to take with you. And it could be almost anything. And I'm just going to cut in the bottom. And then I'm going to go just roll it all out. And I'm not going to roll high. See, I'm only going a little, maybe two feet on it. 
and I'm really working the roller. I'm not putting a lot of paint there. I'm, I'm working the roller so there's not a lot of paint. And here's one where uh, it's a corner. People tend to uh, get the corners dirty, and I'm just going to paint up the sidewall there. And uh, I'm going to paint pretty high on that because I want it to be above eye level. I don't, I don't want anything to be at eye level. And here we go. It's the kitchen. This is where the dinette was. And I'm just, just the chairs have gone against the wall and, and different things were stored on the table, hit up against the wall. And so it makes it a really easy thing. I cut around the uh, receptacles, the, the um, uh, electri electrical boxes, and uh, so that I don't get paint all over them. Now here's a, a master closet. It's a walk-in closet, and you can't see it, but there's scuff marks almost all throughout that, and that's like boxes that were stored there or something, and, it, and when they rubbed up against the wall, they created a scuff mark. And it really, really looks bad. It's easy to take care of. I'm not going to paint very high, just at the bottom. It's a dark area. It goes away really, really quick. Notice I put down a drop cloth because uh, I really don't want to have to watch my paint all the time. And this just takes a few minutes to do. And uh, by the way, that stick I'm using is a broomstick because I forgot my paint stick. And it's just an old broomstick that screws into the um, roller. And, and uh, now see, I'm painting high, but that's higher than my, um, just, just really working the roller. Uh, not putting a lot of paint on the wall, just enough to cover up the, the scuff marks. And they're going to just disappear. And that's about the end of that. Um, the managers just want a place that they don't have to completely redo. Um, I've done um, housing, HUD housing, many, many years of it, and where they come in and inspect the job to make sure it's done right. Uh, most of the times we just painted the walls over because it was easy to do. But there was times when we needed to just go in and touch something up so that it make it ready for the next, uh, next uh, renter. And um, see how I'm just taking the brush and just covering up the, the, uh, the uh, scuff marks. That's all I'm doing. And uh, I didn't mask it all, all off because it wasn't very much. This was a, a hallway uh, closet that wasn't used a lot. So that's about the end of that. Now I had an actual big patch in here where the, uh, um, the TV was mounted and it didn't come off easy and it broke a piece of the drywall. So uh, I'm going to, um, it's above my head, so it's not at eye level, but I'm going to use a lot of paint here and spread it all out. And uh, uh, I almost do the whole wall because it's just really easier to do than anything else. Uh, now I'm, I'm just taking and just scuff marks and things like that. Uh, I'm throughout the room. Next, all I'm going to do is clean up my mess. I'm going to pick up my paper. I'm going to pick up my drop cloths. I'm going to fold them up, get them all out of the way. And then the next thing I'm going to do is um, um, clean the windows and the sink and the bathtub and, and um, um, wash the windows. And um, vacuum the floor and so it's really simple to do I probably got I got a few hours in this only only because I'm old uh, if I was a young guy it would only take me two or three hours to do the whole thing so and I'm just going back and there's scuff marks that I just want to make sure they disappear and fold up my drop cloth getting them out of here and you're all done you should be ready to turn in your keys and get your deposit back. I hope you like this video. 
I hope you hit like. I hope you subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.